Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use Windows function in the Databricks. So let's move on to the portal directly without any further ado. So guys, right now I am in my Databricks portal and I will first start with explaining what exactly Windows functions are. So one Windows functions are actually used to perform operation on a group of data. When I say a group of data, they will actually use multiple rows as an input and they will try to provide a resultant single output from your grouped data. So that is what is called as Windows functions. So they are similar to what you use in your SQL, like you have in your aggregations like minimum, max, average count and sum. And similarly, you have your ranking functions, you have your analytical function, you have your custom boundary functions, right? So we are going to create a data frame right now and then we are going to create a data frame from a list and then we are going to use these functions. So let's directly move on and I will actually zoom this and you can see my command three right now. I will, I, what I have right now is a salary list. So this list contains the, you know, uh, sub values and they together form a list of salary. And now I'm trying to create a Windows function out of it. And what it has, it has a department name named as sales, personal or develop. So these are the department names and then you have your employee number and salary associated to it. So let's go ahead and run this command to create a data frame out of it. Now you can see the data frame is already created. So let's go ahead and see how a data frame looks like. Now guys, you can see that my data frame is loaded with department name, employee number and salary. And now let's try to run a window aggregate function on it. Now what I'm trying to do in command five over here is if you see here, I have a window function. I as so I have a window function. I'm trying to use that. I have window DF, which is the data frame that we have created above. We are trying to group by department name. Now you see over here, you have department names, right? You have three department names. So you are trying to group it by department name. And once you have grouped it by department name, so you have set of different rows for each department. Now for those, those rows, you are trying to find the aggregate map, ag aggregation of the salary, right? So this is the window function that you are trying to use over here, which is your aggregate. Now, if you try to run this, you can actually see that for develop. So let's say you, you had three department names. So right now in the output, since you have grouped by department name, you have three departments, right? Now, if you go inside sales, right, you can actually see that you have max salary coming in in the develop right so if you see the develop over here what is the max salary in develop the max salary is 5200 right so same salary you can actually see over here similarly for personal and for sales for sales you have 5000 and you are able to see 5000 over here so this is an aggregate function this is the max function that you're trying to use and you are trying to use it on salary after grouping by department name. So this is how you actually use your Windows function, right? And now if you want to do min over here, let's say, let's do min, min, and then run it. So if you do min, then you will be able to see the minimum salary over here. Now you can see the salaries have changed. For develop, you have 4,200, right? So now if you go and check the data, the minimum salary for develop is actually 4200. So this is how you actually use your Windows function. So now let's move ahead and see what I have next for you. So guys, we have actually discussed uh, regarding the aggregate function, min, max, or you can actually do count also over here. So these are aggregate functions. Now, if you want to use ranking function, in that case, your rank, dense rank, row number, entire, percentile, rank, that will come into picture, right? These are similar to your normal SQL functions as well. Now, let's try to use these functions now, uh, if you can see in command nine, right now I'm again trying to create a data frame. So now in this data frame, I have employee name, I have department, I have salary. So I have a list, uh, I, I have a list of columns which I am trying to use as the schema and then I have it and then I have the data, right? Now let's try to create a data frame over here and then let's try to see what we have in our data frame. 
so now guys you can see that you have employee name department and salary in the data frame and what we are going to do now so we are going to use row number right so in this case i am trying to generate a row number right now i'm trying to generate a known row number on what i'm trying to generate a no row number over window spec round now this window spec i have already added this partition by an order by inside window spec and i'm calling it inside over here so i am trying to partition my data again by department so i have sales finance and marketing as the department i want to partition my data i want to order it by salary and then based on that i want to generate the row number right it is very simple it is pretty straightforward it is mostly like your sql itself so now let's go ahead and run this and i'm also trying to show the data frame so you will actually be able to see over here so now guys uh, what you can see on the screen is that your data has been partitioned by the department and it has generated the row number right now in a similar way if you want to go ahead and want to generate the rank you can actually instead of uh, row number itself here i'll write rank and then you will be able to see the rank now guys you can see that you have the rank specified if you want to go ahead with the tens rank then again you can specify it in the same way to get the dense rank out of your data so just like your dense rank you also have your percent rank so all these things you can directly put on here and you can see how your windows function works so i've already copied these commands over here so let's say you want to uh, you know generate percent rank in the similar way you can simply write percent rank over here now if you want to do an end tile in that case you have to specify end tile uh, to parameter also over here in fact let's try to run this itself i am taking this command over here and since i've already created a data frame i'm trying to run the end tile over it and then you will be able to see the data so now guys you can see that your end tile has also been in place now right Similarly, guys, in fact, apart from partition, if you want, uh, apart from the entire partition, which divides your data, uh, if you want to do any cumulative distribution, then you can directly use this command. Like you just have to you know, define it and you will be able to see the cumulative distribution as well over the specification, over the partition, which you specify. You can actually go ahead and see this cumulative distribution as well right and similarly you have lead and lag uh, functions you have lead and lag window functions over here just like you have in your uh, sql so if in case you want to operate a lag function you just have to mention the name of the function the column on which you want to um, you know get that function and let's go ahead and run this as well so now guys you can see it has a lag of two so it is going back two steps in the salary and it is trying to fetch the value so now uh, 3000 there is no salary above it right so that is why it is null similarly 3300 there is no two step plus salary two step above salary so if you see 3900 you do have if you go two step up you have the 3000 right so that is why you have this 3000 salary and now it is partitioned by the department right now again if you go to the marketing department there is no two step up right so it works like that you have lag over here this is how you define lag in case you want to go with the lead you can just specify the lead option over here the column again and then if you want to specify any partition you can go ahead and specify the partition in windows specification we have already mentioned the partition if you want i'll again go back and i'll show you this is how we have defined right windows specification uh, partition by we are I'm trying to define a window of partition by department and order by salary now let's go back again so these are all the windows functions which we, we usually use and we have an option in spark so now let's say that you want to uh, you know uh, you, you want to partition by department and you want to run a lot of aggregates with new columns now in that case if you see over here 
you know I have defined a partition by on department so my data will be partition based on department and after that you can import any uh, you know function you can import directly star so I'm trying to import average sum min max and row number and then you can see the data frame that we have created above now in that data frame we are using with column expression to add another column so with column is actually used can be used to add a column so we are adding a column named as row and we have a row number because in this row we want to add a row number over partition by department in the similar way we want to add a column of average sum min max right and then we are also defining a case where row equal to one then you have to select uh, let's run it so now guys you can actually see that how my data looks like so it has already partitioned by now since it is an aggregate function it is trying to combine it is trying to find the average it is trying to find the sum it is trying to find the min and it is trying to find the max as well so this is how you can play around with the windows function in a uh, databricks do let me know if you have any comments or if you have any questions and thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe